How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Wheels. What we're going to be looking at is a 2019 Dodge Charger that we built for the Hackensack, New Jersey Police Department. So off the bat, the vehicle has been upgraded with the Blueprint 3.0 electrical system with the OBD2 interface to give them all the vehicle functions and added safety features that they didn't have before. What you'll notice on some of the other parts of the car is like the light bar, then the mirror lights that we'll go over later. Those are all reused from previous chargers that we were able to recycle the equipment so that they didn't have to spend additional money on more equipment. They were able to add, upgrade the safety features and get a lot more function than they, did ha than they had before and still have a very well laid out vehicle. Up front, we have a Go Rhino push bumper with new sound off signal tricolor end forces in it. We also have end forces on the side that are in tricolor. This gives them take down left alley, right alley. We reused the siren speaker off the previous chargers to replace the headlight flasher. We've integrated the LED ring into the blueprint system to synchronize all the lights, including the under mirror lights. The light bar on this vehicle is a sound off signal EPL 9000. We remounted it from the old vehicle, so all the equipment transferred back over. The under mirror lights are sound off signal intersectors. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, we have sound off signal under mirror lights that we've tied into the blueprint system. They sync with all the other lights. They also shut off when you open the door and they turn back on. Up top, we have a reused sound off signal EPL 9000. We have the takedowns and alley lights shutting off with the park kill signal. Look at the vehicle, you can see we have the back of the pinnacle lit up along with the rear deck EPL 8000 that was reused from the last vehicle. And then what we've done in the back to give them warning lights, we've integrated the reverse lights into the blueprint system along with the parking rings to give them more warning without having to do any drilling because you can't do anything with these style tail lights. One thing that's different about this vehicle than some of the other ones we have is this has the surveillance module installed in it from Intermotive. What this does is when you're sitting on the side of the road or you're doing a, a detail or anything like that, you press a button on the steering column it turns on your reverse camera and it turns on all your sensors so that way if somebody were to approach the vehicle from behind you hopefully see them and it also will alert you by rolling up your windows so what we do is we have the system activated right now the backup camera is on if you activate the signal it turns the reverse lights on turns all the lights on and then what we have it done is to turn on the alley lights we cruise a bunch of the other lights and that way that it hopefully deters somebody that's approaching the vehicle if they were going to they were wishing to cause the officer harm <laughs> done with the intermotive modules from the front you'll see that the scene lights turn on to light up the area around the vehicle and then you also saw that the scene lights in the back also turn on so what it'll do is if you're sitting there with your window open when you set the alarm off turns the cruise lights on it rolls that window up turns your scene lights on and it also trips the camera so the camera starts recording looking at the back of the vehicle we've installed a locking Havish trunk tray this houses their modem their blueprint central controller distribution along with the brain for their camera system. This is able to be locked to secure all the equipment so that there's no tampering done with it and it's for a secure vehicle. There's Centina partition from the last vehicle, reinstalled, they cleaned it up a little bit. And then we have their ProGuard rear transport seat along with the uh, ProGuard transport floor. It allows for any fluids or anything like that to be easily cleaned up. These have this, the belt buckles in the middle. Taking a look at the center console, we've reused the Havis console from the last vehicle. 
We have their laptop mount with their docking station, their laptop installed. We have the blueprint controller with, that controls the arrow stick, the takedown, the left alley, the right alley. The independent control for their wigwags, the rear warning, the cruise function, along with their uh, gun lock timer. And we've also installed their radio uh, along with their cup holders. And then we also have their weapon rack installed at the back. And then we have the display for their camera system. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.